Let's quickly go to Aldo Sam Wine Bar where Roma Tori and our guest critic Keith Price are chatting about the new off-Broadway show, The Whirly Gig. Keith, as you know, the uh, Whirly Gig is a new group production on stage at the Signature Theater. It's written by Hamish Linklater, who we all, of course, all know more as, a, as an actor. And true to form, uh, as an actor playwright, he's giving his cast much to sink their teeth yes, into, right? I um, will agree. It yes. does concern a young drug-addicted woman who is dying tragically, and her parents are rather estranged. And moving back and forth in time on a rotating stage, we encounter uh, this young woman's friend. She's 23 years old, her friends, and uh, assorted enablers. It is a whirly gig of grief. I think that was yeah. a line in, in the production. That's true. But I found it overstuffed. What did you think? I, you know, the thing is for me, it feels like it was six degrees of separation on a turntable like Les Mis. Mm -hmm. It is all of these different characters that are connected to this one central person, and each of them all having some sort of weird connection and that goes to the doctor the teacher everyone was involved in this young woman's life and I think it was a really great example of how everything that we do and as as people you don't realize the effect that you could have along that continuum I agree and you know I will say it's a very timely piece given the opioid uh, crisis that we're all facing in this country right. but I felt that it was kind of watered down and almost a a cop out in, in the way that Linklater um, had this tendency to want to make us laugh. It's a very serious subject, but he, he, he didn't seem to take it all that seriously well, at times. Well, you know, but the thing is, there's like, how much of it can you cover? The idea of addiction and, you know, mother's issues and mental health issues, because right. that was also a part of the conversation, and how all of that affects someone who's trying to raise a child. Right. I was moved by that particular aspect of the piece, but like you said, it was a little overstuffed, and at the same time, it didn't really answer a lot of really big questions that it actually proposed at the beginning. At the center of the story, Grace Van Patten, this young 23-year-old who's dying, and then it goes back and forth in time, replaying her story and, and letting us see how she ended up this way. And Zosha Mamet was terrific. You know, I, oh. it, it's a kind of a different character from Girls. From Girls, of course. But um, she really nails it, and that was my favorite scene in the play. And then a good old Norbert Leo Butts. Any chance that you can have him on a stage is worth it. I just feel that TV and film are taking him away from us, and any chance we can have him is always a great time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He is, he's always, always special great. to watch. Keith Price, thanks very much. Thank you, Roma.